Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial for the extravaganza. I hope you're all having fun watching online or um, actually being in the shop. It's a wonderful fairy tale place to visit if you ever get the opportunity. Today I'd like to share this tutorial with you using Grace, one of the Livinia Stamps fairies. And she's calling spring to come. So for this card we will need some blending brushes and we're using the Bramble stamp, the Climbing Ivy stamp, we're using the large Grace stamp and some little stamps from the foliage sets. We're also using a gold and a blue jelly roll pen. We're going to use some Elements inks in Blue Lagoon, Olive, Confetti and Sundance and we're also going to be using the Flower Mask. I've cut my piece of card already and it's 11 and a half centimetres wide by 16 centimetres long and we'll also need some Versafine for our stamping. All the items will be listed at the end of the video. So to start our card we need our piece of Multifarious. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. That's okay. <clears throat> and we're going to start by using our blending brushes and our Elements inks. I'm going to start with my yellow. And because I've just done the other card, I'm just going to brush off onto my card any ink that's already on my brush. Sometimes you get lots of ink left on your brushes and you don't really always need to dab them in your inks. As, as you can see, there's plenty of yellow or sun dance on this piece of, on this brush to cover this piece of card in a nice yellow colour. So I'm coming up about near enough one third of my card with my yellow. I'm very happy with that, so that's nice. I'm going to do the same with my green brush. I'm just going to brush off and hopefully I'm just laying down a foundation of where I want my grounded area to be at the moment. So I need a little bit more green ink. Not too much. So just to remind me that I'm going to ground this area later on. Get a nice sort of pale green colour because it's mixed in with the yellow. And there we are. Um, next colour I'm going to use is my pink brush, and I'm just going to wipe up the green. I don't want it to mix in with my pink. I'm going to wipe off my mat and then dry off my mat with my piece of kitchen towel. There we go. And now I'm going to do the same with my pink. Might not have much pink on here. We've got a little bit. We're just going to brush across and it should blend in with the yellow and make a sort of pale orangey colour. I'm going to dab off onto my mat. And then come in onto my card. I don't really want to be too heavy with the colour. I just want it to be nice, bright spring colours. 
I hope you've been enjoying the extravaganza. I'm going about halfway up my card, or just over halfway up my card with my pink confetti colour. Try and mix a little bit more pink in with the lemon to give myself an orange tint down the bottom which will show up a little bit more when it's drying. I think I'll go a little higher with my pink. I don't want too much blue. There we go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my yellow brush again. I'm going to come in on my pink so I get more of a sort of tangerine orange colour, which I really like. And there we go. And then we'll move to our blue brush. Once again, our blue brush, I'm going to turn my card. This is the Lavinia Stamps mat I'm using and honestly it is really really good mat. It's the best one I've ever used and I love it. And I craft a lot downstairs in my living room in the evenings when I get home from work. So I'm going to treat myself to another one for my downstairs area. Maybe I'll ask the children to get it for me for Mother's Day. That's a good idea. And that's our background nearly ready. So I'm going to be using let's clear the whole map. Rink. Now I'm going to be using my flower mask. I'm going to get Grace and she swamps. Because I want the centre of the flower mask to sort of be in the centre of Grace. So I want this part. Just sort of be in this sort of like top chest area. So I'm going to put that there. Yes, that's about yes, I like that. So using my pink brush and get my pink ink ready just in case I need some extra. I'm just going to place two fingers on my mask and then I'm just going to brush and as you can see there's plenty of ink on my brush if I lift this it's just coming through so I'm just going to go all around the area where I haven't got my fingers and then without moving it too much 
going to come down this way. Then I'm going to remove my mask. And that's my masked area done. I'm going to bring my stamps over. Because now it's time for the stamping. I'm going to get my stamping press. <clears throat> and my piece of card. And I'm going to line up my card with the, so I'm putting, actually I think I'll put it right over there so I know it's up to the edge. I either usually use the measurements at the bottom. As you can see, the card is four and a half inches wide. And I'm going to put grace there. Get straighter. And she's calling the spring weather. And then I'm going to get in my verse mark. So I'm patting it. I'll move that over a bit because I don't think you can see it. So I'm just patting gently. I'm going to get my wet cloth. These are just old cloths that I use, old wet wipes that I use now. And I'll just keep them in a bucket down here. And I'll just keep washing them. I don't throw them away anymore until they're really worn out. And I'll just keep washing them in a little bag. And they're lasting me forever. So I feel like I'm doing my little bit for the environment I don't buy them anymore they're all the old ones that I already had I'm still using up the old packets that I'd already bought some of the packets have actually dried out and I just thought well what can I do so I just wet them with my spray and carry on using them now and then I wash them and use them again they're lasting a long time so I'm gently pressing down all over my fairy, all over Grace, and I'm hoping that that doesn't move, because I think I'm going to have to do another layer, yes, because I think my ink pad is a little, little bit dry. I do have another one here, so let's see if this one's better. Oh yes, that seems much better. Should have used that one first. <clears throat> and press down again. Hopefully. My ink pad must have been very dry because um, usually multifarious card never have to ink t twice this much. But that's much better. So I use that ink pad. I'll put the other one away. I can get the reinker out later and use reink it out. So that's Grace done. Put Grace to one side and <clears throat> now I can take my 
stamping off my stamp pad. And I'm going to use a stamping block. So the first thing I'm going to stamp is my ivy, my climbing ivy. And I'm going to use my olive. And I'm gently, very gently, going to tap my olive onto my ink pad and I'm bringing just bringing some ivy up the sides of my card don't need a lot of ink because these ink pads are very juicy so I'm just going to do the same there I'm going to do a second generation next to it. <clears throat> okay, I'll leave that there for now. Wipe off that. now I'm going to use second generation along the bottom so I just need a piece of card to stamp on and then I'm just going to stamp some ivy along the bottom There we go, just to give a little bit of texture down there. <clears throat> and then I'm going to stamp my foliage leaf along the bottom, just randomly. First and second generation. That's that done. And then I'm taking my blue lagoon for my little flower stamp. See, this stamp's really pretty. Stamp it on there. It's beautiful. And so just to add a bit of colour. And I've pressed too hard. So it's gone all over me ink pad. Uh, all over me stamp, I mean. So I'll just wipe it off. Gently, just with the element sinks, you just need to um, tap very gently, very, very gently. <clears throat> and then I'm going to place a bit of colour down the bottom with my blue blossoms. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat today. Just gone back to school, been doing a lot of talking after the half term holiday for the last couple of days. So I seem to be losing my voice a bit. And then my next stamp to stamp is my <clears throat> my bramble. 
at the top of my card. I've got ink on my fingers, which I don't like. And sanitizer to get rid of it. I didn't want too much bramble showing on my card. I just wanted it to sort of like highlight the edge of the card. So once again, I'm going back to my <coughs> olive. But I'm just dropping it on. I'm not dabbing, I'm just dropping. And as I'm dropping, I'm making sure there's ink all over my stamped area. And then I'm just going to bring a tiny, tiny piece in on this side. There we go. And then just gently dropping on again. I'm not pressing down, I'm just dropping it on the big stamp. I'm going to come in that way. Come in, cover that one up because it didn't quite stamp properly. And then come in a little bit more with this one to about there. And then I'm going to come down this side. I'm turning my card that way. And I want to come sort of in and down. It's lovely. And just a little bit more there. And then I'm just going to put a little bit more there. There we go. And that's our finished card. So it's a nice quick card to do to welcome spring and then the final finishing touches are our glittery finishing touches that we always need for a fairy card so what I did was I highlighted with a blue jelly roll pen um, has this got a colour on it Nope. And I just went over the edges, um, the little circles on my card to highlight all the little flowery bits. I don't know if it will pick it up, but it's getting some bits, glittery bits there. I think the pen's running out. It's, there we go. So just keep on going. 
make the bottom of your card sparkle a little bit. I don't want to do any more because I'm going to go around with black in a minute. And then on your leaves, you just go around and highlight your leaves, the centres where the veins are. Go around and sit. And then I went round all these curly leaves as well. And that will highlight all your card. And I just went round all of the areas. Made them all stand out a little bit more. And then the last thing is to highlight our fairy. So I start with the wings and we'll just follow around. I'm just going to go round these bits here. Keep putting your card in the reflection of your light and you'll be able to see what bits you've missed and what bits you need to carry on doing. I'm also going to highlight her wings to make them look transparent. I don't know if that shows up in the video. <clears throat> and then just highlight her body. I'm not highlighting the flower mask because it's in the background. So although that, that is where the actual light reflection would be coming from. Really. Just highlight any bits that are in the light. And then highlight her hair. I'll just follow along the hairline. Tracy's done all the work with for you when she's designing your cards. All the hair is all in and all the bits to reflect the light for the wings and everything. And there we go, that's our card done. Just finish it off now, highlighting these vines on the bramble leaves. I do love these bramble leaves, I think they're very pretty. And we're nearly there. And there we go. And the last thing to do is get our black blending brush. Mine's a very tiny one. But sometimes I can be a little bit heavy handed. And then we're just going to gently go around the edge of our card in black. Just to give a little bit of a shadow to the edge of our card. That will help bring the eye into the centre. Yeah. 
There we go. And I've just mounted mine onto a piece of A4 multifarious card. And I've left a gap here and a gap there. And I've just got ink on it. I knew I'd get ink or something. Oh, there we go. Don't put that down on that black. finished I've left um, plenty of space at the bottom I've got one of these sand erasers it's absolutely fantastic for getting rid of ink off your white card Miss Eileen Godwin thanks to you we all now have sand erasers and there we go it's gone so that's the original card. This one's a bit brighter. So there we go. Enjoy the rest of the extravaganza and I uh, hope you're all lucky and winning some prizes. And um, I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.